Let us pray the angelus. Please stand. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Or for to beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, Christ your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please kneel. Let us pray the prayer before Mass. Almighty and ever-living God, I approach the sacrament of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. I come seek to the doctor of life, unclean to the fountain of mercy, blind to the regions of eternal light, and poor and needy to the Lord of heaven and earth. Lord, in your great generosity, heal my sickness, wash away my defilement, enlighten my blindness, Enrich my poverty and clothe my nakedness. May I receive the bread of angels, the King of kings, and the Lord of lords, with humble reverence, with the purity and faith, the repentance and love and determined purpose that will help to bring me to salvation. May I receive the sacrament of the Lord's body and blood and its reality and power. Kind God, May I receive the body of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, born from the womb of the Virgin Mary, and so be received into his mystical body and numbered among his members. Loving Father, as on my earthly pilgrimage, I now receive your beloved Son under the veil of a sacrament. May I one day see him face to face in glory, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. Please all stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Jesus tells us that there is one greater than Jonah, and he is the fulfillment of all the predictions of the prophets. Jesus is a Messiah sent by God. And he invites us to have faith in him and may our faith grow and become robust that we may always put our trust in Jesus 
our Lord and God. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Exodus. When it was reported to the king of Egypt that the people had fled, Pharaoh and his servants changed their minds about them. They exclaimed, What have we done? Why, we have released Israel from our service. So Pharaoh made his chariots ready and mustered his soldiers, 600 first-class chariots and all the other chariots of Egypt with warriors on them all. So obstinate had the Lord made Pharaoh that he pursued the children of Israel even while they were marching away in triumph. The Egyptians then pursued them, Pharaoh's whole army, his horses, chariots, and charioteers caught up with them as they lay encamped by the sea at Pihahiro in front of Baal Ziphon. Pharaoh was already near when the children of Israel looked up and saw that the Egyptians were on the march in pursuit of them. In great fright, they cried out to the Lord, and they complained to Moses. Were there no barrier places in Egypt that you had to bring us out here to die in the desert? Why did you do this to us? Why did you bring us out of Egypt? Did we not tell you this in Egypt when we said, Leave us alone, let us serve the Egyptians. Far better for us to be the slaves of the Egyptians than to die in the desert. But Moses answered the people, Fear not, stand your ground, and you will see the victory the Lord will all win for it today. These Egyptians whom you see today, you will never see again. The Lord himself will fight for you. You have only to keep still. 
Then the Lord said to Moses, Why are you crying out to me? Tell the children of Israel to go forward, and you lift up your staff, and with hands outstretched over the sea, split the sea in two, that the children of Israel may pass through it on dry land. But I will make the Egyptians so obstinate that they will go in after them. Then I will receive glory through Pharaoh and all his army, his chariots and charioteers. The Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord when I receive glory through Pharaoh and his chariots and charioteers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. I will sing to the Lord, for he is gloriously triumphant. Horse and chariot he has cast into the sea. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and He has been my Savior. He is my God. I praise Him. The God of my Father, I extol Him. Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered Himself in glory. The Lord is a warrior. Lord is His name. Pharaoh's chariot and army He hurled into the sea. The elite of his officers were submerged in the Red Sea. Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. The floodwaters covered them. They sank into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, magnificent in power. Your right hand, O Lord, has shattered the enemy. Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. Please all stand. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Some of the scribes and Pharisees said to Jesus, Teacher, we wish to see a sign from you. He said to them in reply, An evil and unfaithful generation seeks a sign but no sign will be given it except the sign of Jonah the prophet just as Jonah was in the belly of the whale three days and three nights so will the son of man be in the heart of the earth three days and three nights at the judgment the man of Nineveh will arise with this generation and condemn it because they repented at the preaching of Jonah and there is something greater than Jonah here. At the judgment, the queen of the south will arise with this generation and condemn it because she came from the ends of the earth and heard to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And there is something greater than Solomon here. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. There is something greater than Jonah here. There is something 
greater than Solomon here. Jesus was affirming his divinity in front of the scribes and the Pharisees who refused to believe in him, who refused to accept Jesus as the one sent by God to redeem Israel. In the first reading today, we have heard about the Passover in which God prepared the people of Israel to cross the Red Sea to escape from the slavery of the Egyptians. Such was the mighty work of God that He divided the Red Sea into two, making a passage for the Israelites so that they can escape from Pharaoh's soldiers. But more than Moses, God sent Jesus, His only begotten Son, to save us from sin, to save us from eternal death. And this is made possible because of the passion, the death, and the resurrection of Jesus. If Jesus could not have died, Jesus would not have entered into the recesses of what we call the abode of the dead. And He would not have been able to bring us the planned salvation that is designed by God. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, the Pharisees and the scribes refuse to see Jesus as their Savior sent by the Father because they had a bias on Him. They would brand Him to be the son of the carpenter, an ordinary person from Nazareth. They could not believe that God can work through the ordinary. And that is why they sought a sign. They asked Jesus to manifest Himself as the one sent by the Father through miracles. Pag pinag-uusapan po natin dito yung signs, the gospel would refer to signs as miracles. Ano yung mga ipapakita mong milagro? So in other words, they were demanding from Jesus for miracles so that they would be convinced of His divinity, so that they would be convinced that He is God and they would accept Him to be, to be their Messiah. And so Jesus told them that at the end of times, the people of Nineveh will condemn them. The people of the south will rise to condemn them. Why? Because they refuse to see the greatest sign, the greatest miracle sent by the Father. And Jesus is the greatest sign. Jesus is the greatest miracle. God became man to save fallen humanity. My dear brothers and sisters, may we not be blind like the scribes and the Pharisees. Rather, we open our eyes to the wonders and miracles that God sent us, especially through Jesus Christ. As the Gospel of John beautifully says, For God so loved the world that He gave us His only begotten Son. And this only begotten Son of the Father is the greatest sign of His love. And the greatest sign of God's love is manifested on the cross. The greatest miracle is that when Jesus died and was buried, after three days, He rose from the dead. That, my dear friends, is the greatest sign given by the Father. Please all stand. Jonah discovered that there is no getting away from the Lord. 
We now turn in prayer to God the Father for the grace to change our lives and to believe firmly in Christ's call to repentance. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church leaders may work tirelessly in bringing God's message of repentance to those who seek the Lord with a sincere heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That like the citizen of Nineveh, we may renounce our evil behaviors and turn to God with a humble and contrite spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That families and communities may always seek peace, unity, and reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may find security and love from those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may find eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father of all, you gave us the sign of Jonah to foreshadow the coming of your Son, as from all eternity you willed his resurrection. Associate us with him forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please all stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law. Accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel, so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, and so as to break the bond of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with all the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Sana, 
please all kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending them your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Ricardo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please all stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Please all kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Our hope 
Please all stand. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in peace. Thanks be to God. all meal. Let us pray the prayer before a crucifix. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel, and with burning soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity through contrition for my sins and a firm purpose of amendment. While I contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious wounds, pondering over them within me, and calling to mind the words that David, your prophet, said of you, my Jesus, they have pierced my hands and feet, they have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of Piat, O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits and in the hope of receiving new blessings which you know I need in life. Day no dearest mother, you shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for body and soul, particularly. And this special grace to die in God's love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of God, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> 